What are your thoughts on Ridley Scott basically telling movie critics to touch grass? Ridley Scott has made like a lot of not great movies and some pretty good ones in his old age. Like the motherfucker is 84 years old. That being said, I respect his right to uh, cyber bully uh, anyone involved in the movie business. They were like, what are your thoughts on Killers of the Flower Moon? And Ridley Scott was like, I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you. I've made four movies in my 80s, and Martin Scorsese's made one. Of course his movies are better than mine. I was like, all right, Ridley. He's kind of spitting. <laughs> Jeez. Stan owes Doggy Bones World Headquarters. No thank you. Hey, I'm dead. Jerry's Gas and Go. No, I think we're chilling. This thing's electric. Relax. Relax, buddy. You're not that guy, okay? R slash fuck cars mods when a school bus runs over a perfectly innocent kid on his birthday. Spoilers, he is slowing down the bus by 0.017 seconds. Space Ranger. Buzz Lightyear. You ever see that tweet that says, No wonder... Lifelong Buzz Lightyear fans didn't enjoy this movie, and it's a clip from Lightyear where I guess I don't want to spoil anything, but it says like Emperor Zerg is like his, he's like, he used to be like Buzz's commanding officer or something. In the I don't know, I haven't seen it because I never will. Then someone quote tweeted it and said, Lifelong Buzz Lightyear fans, it just without context, it is a very funny phrase. I something happened to my Twitter. Twitter thinks that I'm like 12 years old. I genuinely am just getting served tweets about animated Spider-Man movies like over and over. It's just animated Spider-Man movies and then like streamer drama, which makes sense because I follow streamers, and then shit about open AI, which is, I got to tell the Twitter algorithm, if possible. The reason it, I click on shit about AI so much is because I always look at the profile and I laugh. Also, that's the only thing left. <laughs> I'm sure there's great people working at OpenAI, okay? I'm sure there's great people working at Microsoft doing AI stuff. But then it's the people who don't work for OpenAI, and they're like, my name is like Bill AI. Here's how I refined the prompt that I put into ChatGPT to make the emails that it spits out to my mailing list better. I'm like, bro, you don't work there. Prompt engineering is a skill. Me when my daughter says she wants to be a prompt engineer when she grows up. No daughter of mine is going to be a prompt engineer. You're going to beg for donations on Twitch and you're going to like it. Five ways your AI prompts can help you generate the correct mathematic at all times. So true. Snoop Dogg certified smokeless. The best part of the Snoop Dogg I'm giving up smoke tweet being an ad, which is very predictable, is that Meek Mill quote tweet where it said like, fuck it, I'm a follow in Snoop's footsteps. My doctor said my lungs are all fucked up from all the smoke and the weed these days is like too nuclear. It's fucking with my mental. And then two days later, Snoop Dogg announced that it was for like a smokeless fire pit piece of patio furniture. <laughs> That is good stuff. By the way, have you seen how good bait is getting on Twitter? It's crazy, man. Did you see the, you know, the um, Nighthawks at the Diner? It's, I forget what it's actually called. Is the painting called Hawks at the Diner? What is painting with people? It's just called Nighthawks. I got the exact part wrong. By a painting by Edward Hopper. If you haven't seen it, you know it, okay? It's uh, a seminal work of art from 1942, meant to be evocative of the loneliness of living in a city where paradoxically you're surrounded by people. Somebody made bait where they said, check out how amazing AI is. Like, look at this painting. You can barely see any of the people in it, and it looks so dark. What's their story? And then, like, by the time they had used AI to rework it, it became, like, 
six bearded millennials enjoying mimosas on a sunny brunch patio and people were losing their minds. They were like, you stripped all the spirit out of the art Average AI bro doesn't understand what the reason that people make art and, and yeah, it's a tr they're trolling bro. They're trolling hating Shitty AI art is based, but we gotta You know check ourselves before we wreck ourselves We gotta only call out the true believers. We can't be out here falling for for bait non-stop it, it calls our intelligence into question any true believers in chat? Yo, chat, is this real? Picture of a anime schoolgirl chopping a dragon in half with a sword in a high school gymnasium with a basketball court behind her. Yeah, congratulations to uh, Hot Boy Toke. Got noticed first in a tweet from Librarian that said Hot Boy Toke is the most unhinged chatter when they mentioned that Jenny Tight Pants was going to do an ass reveal at 100,000 followers, a sentence that I don't even really understand the meaning of, that then got noticed by Twitter user Jenny Tight Pants, who said, what the hell is this? Who then people were like, someone replied, you might be here, by the way, please don't embarrass me. You replied and you said, why are you pretending to not know who NL is? He's like a cultural icon for the last decade and I'm only one quarter joking. Come on, man. That's like, you're laying it on a little too thick there. <laughs> I get the idea that it seems like unbelievable, but I wanted to, I am just going to let the interaction stay with me not being a part of it because it's cringe energy for me to get involved, but you got to stop embarrassing me, man. That's like, that's way too thick. That's too much. It's okay for someone to not know who I am. That's totally fine. You don't need to be up there in the mentions. I, I get you weren't being mean about it, but still. Do you see the picture of Joe Biden blowing out the candles on his birthday cake and this shit is like a raging inferno? Should have just gotten one candle that said 81 on it, man. 81 can- that's, that must have been hot as fuck in that room. He did it as a joke? Listen, I don't know if he did it as a joke. Because did you also see the video of him saying, it's harder to get than a ticket to the Renaissance tour. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, I'm talking about Britney. It's really hot down in Argentina right now. <laughs> it's really hot down in Brazil right now. Oh, man. You could say even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance tour or, or, or Britney's tour. She's down in, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. Joe Biden be like, you owe me three dollars. Do not embarrass yourself by going to I was poisoned on Twitter and saying the McDonald's chicken nuggets gave me salmonella. That's not going to happen. I will say it seems like a lot of people are getting served raw Wendy's chicken sandwiches and then getting really sick. But I always, every time I go to I was poisoned on Twitter, which I do because I follow them and it's very funny. They're always like, check out this raw chicken sandwich I got from Wendy's. I had diarrhea afterwards for like eight hours, but the sandwich is always half eaten. Why are you eating half of the sandwich before you take a look at the ins- You take a bite, you look at the inside of the meat, and then if it looks good, you eat it, and if it doesn't look good, you spit it out, or you like take it up to the counter or something like that. You should know immediately. They should have cooked the sandwich the whole way, but like, you know, there's human error. You really ate like half the sandwich and you're like, this shit's raw? Hot boy Tok, you just gotta chill out a little bit, okay? Because I'm worried that like, I, I'm guessing you're American, okay? You're gonna be at Thanksgiving. People are gonna be like, what'd you get up to this year? You're gonna be like, well, I've made a name for myself as a known degenerate in one specific Twitch chat. That's a simulation of accomplishment. That's not a real thing. You could, you could do so much better. Couldn't you be like a, a pseudonymous Twitter shit poster or something like that? They seem to do okay. 150,000 followers, 50,000 likes on every tweet. Profile picture is Jake Gyllenhaal holding a cell phone. You know what I'm talking about. Bro, I'm literally going into the military. I told you. No, you're not, okay? You made it up. Although I did see... 
Do you see the U.S. military recruiting at that anime convention in New York City? Where they had like a hottie cosplayer dressed up at the recruitment booth? I did see that. They're getting smarter, people. Be careful. <laughs> Young men these days are not as interested in Dodge Chargers as they used to be. You know what's crazy? I'm going to get a lot of not base for this, but just hear me out. The older I've gotten, the more I'm like, man, I fucked up. I should have joined the military. You tough it out in the military for like 12 years, you get a pension for life. No wonder so many people join the military. As a teenager, I was like, I'm never going to join the military. That seems like it sucks. Now that I'm 35, I'm like, bro, if I joined the military, I would have already been out right now. And the tax, I would have been sucking on the taxpayer teat for the rest of my life. You have the cushiest job of all time and you're saying you should have joined the military? Yeah. I wouldn't have been one of the guys on the, I was a little portly. They wouldn't have put me on the ground. I would have been in a chair somewhere. I would have been like the guy in charge of ordering the MREs or something like that. Plus, I could be doing this while also getting that sweet pension check, man. That'd probably be one of those like FPS streamers who's like, <laughs> we don't need to go there. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I said he was at 215, bro. 215. I called him out. There's a chain of command here. Yeah. <laughs> Walks in and like blows away like 17 scavs in Tarkov. And then just like emotionlessly goes, clear. Doesn't even like, if they had a heart rate monitor on, it's like their heart rate remained completely unchanged throughout the engagement. Did you see the Coke Zero tweet in the MISC channel? Hang on. I'm not trying to turn you into like unpaid labor, but librarian, is there any chance you could sift through all the MISC posting and find this? Because it feels relevant to my interests. It's the most recent post. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Librarian, you're dismissed. Coke Zero Chat. Coke Fan 001. What's everyone up to? Jeff Hell, drinking Coke Zero. Diane Coke, drinking Coke Zero. Bub4233, just passed a kidney stone. That's funny. It is crazy, though, for how cooked... Twitter is, posting something from Blue Sky is actually like, I don't want to go off on a rant here, but does anybody else think that Blue Sky is the eye funny of Twitters? Isn't it made by the dude from Twitter? Yeah, but like, I feel like Blue Sky, and by the way, I respect your right to be like, Twitter sucks ass, I'm going to Blue Sky. I think that everybody in front of them has a choice. Um, and the choice is like, Twitter is bad for my mental. Am I going to leave and preserve myself or am I going to lean into the skid? And I just find myself kindred spirits with those who are leaning into the skid. They're funnier. Like, I feel like, what's going on on Blue Sky? People are like, you know, my fuck-ass boss was mad at me today. One like. And on Twitter, people are posting, like, the funniest jokes of all time that you have to be online all the time to understand it all. I'm leaning into the damn skid. <laughs> did you see the Susan Sarandon video? Don't try to distract me. I did see her son tweet, thank you for standing in solidarity with my mom, but can you please stop posting the video where she's getting her hair done with her titties hanging out? He said it, not me. He didn't say titties? As far as I'm concerned, he said a more offensive word, okay? I made it a little bit more like PG-13. Her son is in the quarry? Yo! Does he play um, the guy who kind of looks like Ben Schwartz? I could see, I'm, I'm imagining his face in my mind right now. And I'm like, I can see Susan Sarandon's face in his face. Dylan. I think that's the one I'm talking about. Hey guys, thanks for standing in solidarity with my mom, but could you please stop posting the picture where she's got her ankles out? Your wife bullies you more than you bully her? Yes, it's true. And that's the way that it should be. Men should not be rude to women 
but it's funny when women are rude to men as long as they're, they have rapport with one another. As long as it's funny, it's okay for a woman to be rude to a man. That's why like all those sitcoms in the 90s work. Like Leia Ramini was not like, Kevin James, you're fat, you piece of crap. She was like, oh, please, the only reason I'd ever be in danger around you is if I was, ha if I was a ham sandwich. And you're like, oh! Wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's got to be, as long as it's funny. But like, if a, if a man, if a husband lands a sick burn on his wife, you got to have read the room perfectly. Otherwise, things get very uncomfortable. Even if it's a great burn, it's got to be like a Luke Skywalker type shot. If you're the wife, you can kind of like, you can, you can miss dead center on the bullseye and still score points. My husband doesn't know about this. Did you see that uh, this is a good one for librarian? Did you see the TikTok of the lady who built like a 500 piece puzzle and then she held it up and told her husband to come look at it and then her, her, her boyfriend and then her boyfriend literally just pulled back the hammer and then punched the puzzle and broke it. <laughs> like, that is crazy, man. I don't know if, that, if that's scripted. They are doing real damage to society because I did get upset when I saw it. I was like, what are you doing here? It's 100% rage bait. They should be in prison because that is actually like a disinformation campaign designed to undermine the state of the modern family. No, it, I, I mean this not in like a, I'm not trying to make anybody cry. But did you see, I don't know how it got tweeted into my feed, but the, the tweet of the guy who got a tattoo of preserved children's illustrations that got like swallowed up in a Danish bog in the 13th century. There's, these are like drawings that a, a child in the 13th century made. They're like nine or ten years old. And then somehow, they, maybe they drew it on bark or something, and then the, the bark got dropped in a bog, and the bog preserved it. This is weirdly like melancholy, because it humanizes people from history as real people, instead of just... Like on an intellectual level, you know that those were real people. But like the idea of a child in the 13th century like drawing graffiti and not just like existing all the time in like a leather cap with like a bag full of rye grain on his back is crazy. Rip to that dude, he would have absolutely loved Skibbity Toilet. But like unironically. <laughs> He, and he should have been, he was like 10. He should have been loving Skibbity Toilet. That's the age. There are notes from medieval monks ranting about their cat knocking over a bottle of ink. That's the thing, right? I always think about that, not even like in ancient history. Oh, we're fucked. I honestly thought that run had a chance. I think that way about like World War II. You know, like in 1939 to 1945, in my head, it was World War II the whole time. What were people doing? Bro, what do you think they were doing? It was World War II. There was probably like some motherfuckers that were like at home and they were just bored. They had the audacity to be bored in World War II. Probably writing in their journal. Ah, oh, didn't have a great day today. Oh, the train was like three minutes late and I lost my shoelace or something like that. That's crazy. It is crazy that the older I get, the further away World War II gets, but also like the closer it gets. Because when I was like 10 and that shit was 50 years ago, I was like, that's ancient history. Now that I'm 35 and it's like almost 100 years ago, I'm like, that shit was like, it's like my parents, parents kind of, like my, somewhere in between my great grandparents and my grandparents. It's my generations are all cooked up because I'm pretty sure like my great grandparents had my grandparents when they were like 15 and then people got a little bit more enlightened. So my grandma had my dad when she was like 18. <laughs> then they got a little bit more enlightened and then my dad had me when he was like 23. Like he was basically like a fossil. So I'm trying to, I'm like, 
Maybe like my like World War II, what was that, 70 years ago? That's like my great, 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 great grandparents. <laughs> yeah, my grandma's like 72. I'm 35 and she's like 72. Man, she may be like 76 now. But like, it's pretty young for, <laughs> for the grandmother of a guy with a, with a gray beard. Flaming lips. Boomer. 